Hello friends and fellow hikers, those more fit than me and my fellow trail whales. Today's hike has me in Tuscarora State Forest here in my home state of Pennsylvania. It's an area that I haven't hiked before and so I'm really enjoying it. The highlight here is the scenic overlook at Flat Rock. So from the campground, which actually is closed here in 2018, from there to here it's a little less than two and a half miles and so it's a popular hike to do in out and back. There's a couple different trails that intersect kind of weave in and out and so you can do a little bit of a mini loop to come here and back. It's a good deal of elevation change in the course of that two and a half miles and much of it really in the course of the first mile. So today it had me sweating a lot but as you can see this is just an absolutely beautiful overlook. So a great trail that I would highly recommend. Trail traffic here is much lighter than it was last weekend when I did Pulpit Rock and the Pinnacle along the Appalachian Trail, closer to Redding. This one is west of Carlisle, so it's the opposite direction. It took me about an hour and a half to drive here from Lancaster this morning. Every hike that I go on, I try to do something a little bit better or at least different from the hike before. And today what I'm working on is implementing a little bit more of my new knowledge of the leave new trace principles. Everyone knows the saying, leave only footprints, take only photos, or take only memories. That's at the heart of the leave no trace philosophy. And so I kind of take it for granted, yeah, 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 leave no trace, I know what that's all about. But I realized uh, this week that maybe I don't. So I spent some time on their website looking over the principles and their specific recommendations. One of the things that I learned was a simple leave no trace principle that I'm trying to implement today, which is simply to stay in the middle of the trail when you're hiking. So often there is an obstacle or uh, there's some water on the trail, or in cases today I've seen places where the middle of the trail is rocky, but if you go off to the side, you can kind of walk where there's still dirt and sod and still more cushioned. But what happens when you don't stay in the middle of the trail is that the trail gradually expands. And so obviously that leads to leaving some significant trace as multiple people start hiking that way. Instead of having a trail that has minimal impact, it's, you have a trail that has a big impact. So that's one small thing that I'm trying to do differently today. And that's where my iPhone froze up because it was about 30 degrees Fahrenheit there at the Overlook. So I packed up my bags, hit back on the trail for the remaining six miles of my hike. The Tuscarora Trail, to Wildcat Run Trail, to Warner Trail, onto Cider Path, up and over the mountain, down to the campground area where I took the Rattlesnake Trail just to have something different than the road to walk on, and back to the parking lot. This is not a route for the faint of heart or for small children, that's for sure, but it was extremely well marked. Signs at every intersection, lots of blazes, very clear where I was supposed to go. Although sometimes it was straight across a street. Now I want to mention too that this week, in addition to reading the Leave No Trace guidelines, I also read a classic blog post by Ryan Silva, aka Dirtmonger, on the Gossamer Gear blog from September 2013. And the title of that post is How to Walk Straight While Hiking. And he makes the point in this that the hikers that he's had the hardest time keeping up with while he's been with them are those who simply walk in a straight line. That's their secret. Obviously they're in good shape, they're nimble-footed, but what makes the difference at the end of the day is that they're not bouncing around, they're not walking around all sorts of obstacles, they're just going straight on. And just as with the Leave No Trace website, I'll link to that blog post in the description below this video. But for now, let's witness on my resolution to walk straight down the middle of the trail, regardless of the obstacles, panned out. Thanks a lot for watching what is my first real video here on my YouTube channel, What in Blue Blazes. If you've been to this trail, if you've done the Flat Rock Trail, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave a comment, and definitely if you've ever tried creating greater hiking efficiency by walking straight down the middle of the trail, I'd love to hear what your experience was really like. And if you have tips for me on how to take this idea to heart, I'd appreciate those too. And of course, the best way to show me a bit of much needed encouragement, I promise you will be very welcome 
would be to hit like on this video and to subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the trail.